So I'll take uh, questions. I just uh, want to say how happy I am to be here in uh, London North Centre with our candidates, our MPPs, as well as our uh, candidates uh, for the campaign, and uh, take any questions you might have. Uh, Andrea, the Unilever plant in Brampton is closing. It's a food uh, plant. Um, I'm not sure of the reason for it, but um, it's another closing, and it comes at a bad time for the government when the election on. Well, I mean, it's... Uh, when jobs are in the focus. Yeah, no, but for, I mean, first and foremost, uh, my deepest uh, concerns go out to the families who are going to be out of work uh, now uh, with the uh, announcement of this, uh, of this facility closing. 280 more jobs being lost in the province of Ontario. Uh, again, I think demonstrating that uh, the Liberals have had no plan uh, to keep good jobs here. Uh, I don't know the details either of the decision that was made, uh, but uh, food processing is something that uh, uh, needs to be supported here in Ontario, uh, and the, the ma maintenance of good jobs is something that the government has failed miserably on. So we're uh, uh, we're quite concerned about the news that's coming out of the uh, of the Unilever plant uh, today. What do you think about the news the Liberals talking? the high-speed rail between London and Toronto. Do you think money could be better spent, or is that uh, something that would benefit the city? Well, you know what, in terms of uh, long-term vision, it's something I'd like to discuss with the city, absolutely. I know their plan was for bus rapid transit. Uh, uh, the bottom line is uh, the government's failed in, in, in terms of helping cities with their existing transportation infrastructure. They cancelled a, a bus replacement project that municipalities relied on to try to maintain uh, good services in their communities, and that's awfully disappointing. So, uh, certainly the uh, ability for uh, the province to connect communities in a better way with better infrastructure on uh, transportation is absolutely necessary uh, but let's take one step at a time and 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 get uh, the basics right uh, before we start jumping ahead the liberals are attacking your tax credits for jobs plan they're saying you know this would actually be more red tape for small business that you know uh, Barack Obama was talking about this before he, he backed away from it that the costs they say would be you know much much greater than be all these problems but what's your response to that well I'm, I'm not going to take uh, that criticism from a government that's really done nothing in terms of job creation in this province I mean their record speaks for itself uh, you know, giveaways that are not attached to jobs is not the right thing to do. Well, it only makes sense to actually reward the companies that are creating jobs, uh, and that way we're getting something uh, for the uh, uh, for the taxes that we're uh, uh, we're handing back. And so, uh, again, it's about making sure that uh, uh, those companies that are are bringing new workers on, that are expanding their workforce, uh, get rewarded for that instead of uh, what the Liberals and Conservatives favor, which is you know blank checks, frankly, uh, to companies who then ship jobs somewhere else. With this Unilever plant closing, let's say you know you were you were in office and you heard about Unilever considering shutting down the fact that you know like a food processing factory. What, what would you do about that? Well, you know, I don't uh, I don't know what the circumstances are at, uh, in this current situation, but I would certainly be uh, in the in the door with the uh, uh, the executives that are operating that uh, plant and and talking about what can we do uh, to ensure that those jobs stay stay. And further to that. What is it that has uh, has created this decision uh, for this company to, to leave? I mean, we know uh, that uh, that there, are, for example, are significant uh, electricity rates in this province that make it difficult uh, for companies to uh, uh, to compete uh, with the electricity rates the way they are. Another issue uh, that the Liberals have frankly ignored, uh, and uh, and that's it's very concerning. Uh, so it's it's a matter of making sure not only uh, we are at the table talking to these folks about uh, about plans like. Uh, incentives to uh, to create jobs and, and keep jobs here, uh, but but also uh, making sure that you're understanding why these kinds of decisions are coming uh, and if they can be stemmed. Would that be something that you would consider, perhaps you know, looking to provide financial assistance? You're, you've talked about creating new jobs. What about? holding ones here that might be a risk directly. Well, uh, and again, the the, uh, the idea of, uh, of partnering with uh, businesses to try to keep jobs here is a good one, but the uh, it can't be a blank, blank check, and that has been the problem that we've had with the Liberal plans in many in many time, in many cases. Uh, we don't get to see the contracts that they sign with these companies. Well, one of the things we want to make sure uh, is that any break, any tax break, any incentive, any grant is tied to jobs that are, are kept here. So we want to make sure that we have ironclad job commitments. That's got to be number one. Since 2011, your party has made big gains in this region in the by-elections. How critical is it to your election strategy that you keep those gains and gain additional seats in the Southwest? Well, you know what? Southwestern Ontario has uh, been hard hit by job loss. 
Uh, a lot of uh, the work that we've been doing has been around the jobs issue. Uh, the same old solutions uh, haven't worked. Uh, so the same old solutions like across the board corporate tax cuts are not working. They haven't kept jobs, manufacturing jobs, here in London. So let's start bringing some creative ideas to the table, uh, ones that make sense, ones that frankly are working in other jurisdictions, uh, and, uh, and try to make a difference for, uh, for the people in southwestern Ontario who have been frankly devastated uh, by the uh, economic downturn that continues to, uh, uh, to plague this region. Are you confident that message will mean more seats for the NDP in the southwest? Well, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the work that uh, Theresa Arm Armstrong has done in London Fanshawe and that uh, Peggy Sattler uh, has done uh, for uh, uh, for her uh, riding as well here in London, uh, London West. Uh, we have a great uh, candidate in Judy Bryant. We have a number of excellent candidates across southwestern Ontario. Uh, what this election really is, is a chance for people to make a choice. On June 12th, uh, people will look at the ideas that the parties are putting forward uh, and I believe uh, what people want right now in Ontario is gov government that makes sense, government that sets priorities based on what Ontarians want to see in terms of change, uh, and, uh, and and a government that's uh, that's prepared to actually act on uh, those priorities. You know, we see a, see a, saw a government last week throw 70 new ideas on the table uh, when three of the most basic ideas from the last budget have not been fulfilled. We don't have a financial accountability office up and running in this province. We don't have auto insurance rates reducing uh, at an appropriate pace in this province, and we certainly uh, have not seen the kind of uh, action that we should have seen on the home care file, because we still have seniors waiting weeks and weeks and weeks uh, to get the home care that they need. If the Liberals cannot make good on three promises from last time around, why would anybody believe that they can make good on 70 new promises? And that's why it was the right thing to do uh, to now set uh, the stage for the people to make a choice about the future of Ontario. Well, as, uh, as you'll see going forward, uh, as we unveil the, our platform through the campaign, uh, we have a number of uh, very, very uh, uh, good ideas. Uh, what's, what's definitely the case is the status quo has not been working for Ontario. The status quo has not worked for Ontario. Uh, and so this campaign is all about what can be done to actually get action on the priorities of Ontarians. And the budget, frankly, had the moon and the stars in it. You're right. It had the moon and the stars in that budget. But I don't think Ontarians believe, nor do I believe, uh, that that was a plan that the Liberals, particularly, would have been able to deliver. There are plants closing. We felt that hard right here in London. That's why we need to invest in companies that are establishing here. And we've got great examples here of businesses that are choosing to locate in southwestern Ontario, in London, because we have the right combination of, uh, of assets that they're looking for. So we've got to work really, really hard. Make no mistake about it. This is not easy, and no politician is going to be able to snap their fingers and fix, fix the problem. But we're working really hard. We are seeing an increase in, uh, in employment rates. Our unemployment rate is coming down here in London. We are seeing steady improvement. Our economy is recovering. But now is not the time to take what is a slow recovery and smash it to smithereens the way Tim Hudak wants to do it. Now his his jobs plan starts with firing 10,000 uh, education workers, 6,000 uh, uh, frontline health care workers. That's no way to uh, to start a jobs plan. But the Unilever plant, they're, they're moving their production down to the states. I mean, it's not like these jobs are just disappearing. They're just not in Ontario anymore. So I don't know the details yet about w w what was behind their decision. What I do know is that there are companies choosing to locate here in London, here in southwestern Ontario, and we need to be there with them to support that. If Definitely. this is the second industrial revolution, what do you consider to be the jobs of the future? Like what sector should your government be focusing on? So the, it's a knowledge economy, right? We've got a very highly trained workforce. We'll need people who can uh, uh, design and operate and maintain those the machines that are taking jobs away from, from, from hardworking people. So we really need to invest in uh, the kind of education that will allow us to, to embrace the next economy. I was really pleased to see that uh, Siemens just announced uh, uh, that they're, they got a big contract for uh, a wind turbine blades, 300 jobs there. So, so there are, you can't just focus on the ones that are gone without celebrating the ones that are being created. Isn't that, isn't that you know, not to put a point on it, isn't that kind of cold comfort for those Trinity staffers? Oh, there's no question. For those people who got that news, 
Uh, this is a very, very, very difficult time. And we will be there for them on job training and helping them get what they need to get on to the next career.